welcome to BBC News. Today we have some breaking news in Buscastle. Today we are interviewing some people on how they feel about the flood. Hi, I'm Aidan from BBC News and this is Boss Castle after the flood. Before the flood, Boss Castle was just a small town in Cornwall. But now it's been flooded. Once it flooded all of the ruins and it got all muddy, which isn't what people really want. There's litter everywhere, towns, the town, the hotels, the houses, the car parks were all majorly damaged. But thanks to us and the Duke and Prince, we have managed to start rebuilding and helping the people in Boss Castle. Soon enough, Boss Castle will turn back into its little town. If you're wondering how this happened, it all started with its two rivers. was very beautiful, the two rivers. But because it's in a valley, the rivers go fast down this valley. And the rivers collided. And because of how much of a force they people had to be rescued through helicopters, through their houses, through their cars. And soon enough, Boss Castle will be back to normal. And when it has, they'll turn back in the little town that they've always wanted to be. To our nature activist, please. Go. Hello, we're here with a nature activist today. Hi. No, how did it affect you, your farm, your lifestyle? What happened? Well, my farm, two cows died and yeah, all my grass went, now it's all mucky and all that. So does this affect like your farm and how you grow stuff? Did yeah, you have it to did. restart? Or? I was already growing loads of stuff, but then it all ruined it. Really? So yeah. you're gonna have to restart? Yeah. How about, well, the biggest one was about a year and a half. So you, would you say it's affected you quite a lot? Yeah. This is what you have to say. Now, let's go back to the reporters. Now we've heard from the nature activists. Now it's time to see the local resident and see how the flood affected her. Let's see their oh, opinions. Oh, we're here with a local resident. Let's see your opinion on the floods. Well, it was really out of nowhere. Like, it was just a nice summer's day and it just came along. And then it really ruined everything. Like, my house killed my cat. And um, there was a lot of damage done everywhere. How it was quite upsetting. How much did you have to pay to get your house fixed? Five thousand pounds. Okay, thank you for your interview. It's okay. Now for the forecast. Oh wait, no, Mrs. Forecast for the weather. 